Okay, um, I, I gave you uh, two uh, zero percent homework assignment on Wednesday. Uh, uh, number one, um, it is for it was for you to look for uh, any standard template library usage uh, in the program, especially with uh, ECS. 36B underscore openai.hpp. Um, so have anybody tried to look for any standard template library on that particular file? Okay, so uh, that's okay. If you uh, didn't uh, um, uh, do it, that's okay. Um, let me ask you a, a more general question. If I gave you a piece of code, what is the general way for you to determine whether something is a standard temporary library, template library, the standard temp SDL. How do you actually uh, make it from the uh, namespace STD? Okay, any anything with S to start with STD. How about you? On top of that, I mean, for example, STD column, column, string, or STD, column, column, C out. They are actually started with STD, but they are not template library. What other things? You're, you, you both have a good starting point, but what other things you should look for? As a, let's actually do a little bit of experiment. So if I have this file, I'm not readable. What are you talking about? Operation not permit. Interesting. Who am I? I'm S. Felix Wu. Oh, there's nothing here. Something is very, very wrong, but that's okay. Software is always like this. Ooh. I cannot do anything. Let me kill the terminal. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure some of you hack into my computer this uh -huh. afternoon. So now I'm in trouble. Ah, it seems to me I'm getting it back. All right, fine. No, this is this is uh, uh, software engineering. You know what the the uh, number one rule about software engineering, it's always somebody else's fault, okay? <laughs> All right, so no problem. Oh, wait a minute, not here. F2022, programming class, CD, CF36B, open AI. Okay, now I can see it. I hope I can see it. So this is a piece of code that's actually written by uh, the community. It's not our code. Let me actually just do a do a search. So we do control S, STD, colon, colon, right? So the first thing you will see is that is a STD string, but that's not the STL. STL, what's the T stands for in STL? Template, okay? Standard template library, yes. Exactly you look at the introducer, the template introducer. So if you have just a STD, that's not enough. So you look at STD, this is a still STD string, STD runtime arrow. See, this one doesn't have the smaller sign greater than sign. That's what we call template introducer. It doesn't have that. They only have the parentheses is actually a function. String, still string, we don't have it. Ah, here, now you see this, right? Can someone tell me how many, uh, what, what, what kind of standard library, sorry, STL, standard template library you see here? Yes. Pair is one of them, right? STD pair, pair, take a two uh, type string, 
one is the first one is string, the second one is string. And, and the thing is, the second one is a map. Map actually also take two of them. And then the one we have been using is called vector. Vector only take one of them, which is the type of the array that you're trying to have. Okay, so, so just want to let you know that this is a one very important way for you to quickly identify whether it's STL or not. If it's STL, you should be able to find very easily on the reference manual, for example. Uh, let me see, I, I should have everything here already. Uh, not lock R. Not pair, okay, here, here, here. Okay, this is actually STD pair. STD pair and under STD pair, uh, there is a more general STD pair, it's called STD tuple. So those two are actually combined together. So what STD pair is, is that it tries to provide a way for you to group two different objects that they are, might be belong to the same type or different type. They kind of help you to aggregate so you actually treat it as one single object. That's what STD pair is. Okay, so basically I tell you that first, how do you actually identify what is STD? The second, you can actually look for different STD has a different usage. It's a template, you can actually define that. But the other thing, which is equally important, is that sometime for you to take a look at the, uh, this kind of uh, code from, uh, from the web, um, it, it might not actually help you to answer all your question. For example, you want to know a particular behavior of this template, it is not necessarily being documented in this uh, website that you can Google it or Stack Overflow. Um, so what you want to have, by the way, this is important because what I realized when I help you on homework assignment number five, I realized different platform. When I say platform, I mean, for example, Mac versus uh, WSL versus a, a Ubuntu type of system. There are some difference in terms of their implementation, their interface, or where the file got located. So you always want to go to the place where you can find the original template library implementation code, at least their interface. So today I'm going to tell you where that is. <clears throat> so this is in my environment. In your environment, it might be different. So if you're using homebrew, it's usually under OPD homebrew, and then you go to include. And under include, you go to C++. And under C++, usually there is some number which is basically related to that particular uh, implementation they have. So over here, you have a bunch of file, but over here you go to a file called, let me see if I can see that here, go to bits. For some reason in my, in my, in my system is under bits. So this is, this is in my environment, this is where all the implementation is. OPT, Homebrew, Improve, C++, 13 bits. And under bits, if you do STL, star.h. This is essentially all the um, standard template library got implemented. So this has all the code. Uh, map is here, pair is here, and vector is here and the rest of them as well. There were the, lots of interesting um, uh, libraries. Some of this is being belong to algorithm. Algorithm is talk about uh, how do you do a, a, a priority queue. I mean, those kind of things, I hope you learn at least know where that is because when you take uh, ECF36C, you're supposed to go into each of the algorithm data structure related. So algorithm, for example, you, you want to learn about the concept about a particular idea about algorithm. Okay, great. I mean, the, the, the instructor is going to provide all the, all the concept, but you want to actually know in C++, how do they actually implement a particular algorithm? So, so suppose that ECF36C, at least in computer science at UC Davis, 
we designed the, the system this way that you actually get to expose yourself into those mostly standard algorithms that most programmers need to use. And those things are both under SD, SDL, algo.h and algo.base.h. This will help you too. So, so it's, it's good to not just learn conceptually about what that idea is about uh, bubble sort or priority sort, but priority ordering, but you actually take a look how it's being implemented in an object-oriented programming language. And that experience is extremely valuable for you to really understand. So you probably heard me saying, hear me saying this uh, more than one time. Uh, um, uh, we don't know what we are talking about unless we actually write the code. We write the code, we compile the code, we run the code. Okay, that's that's how we all oh, we'll read the code. Okay, so I just want to tell you, show you very quickly about, for example, the STD STL vector by H in this directory. You will see class vector. See here, this is the class vector, and class vector is essentially, it's a template. See that I declare as a template with a type name. And this this is essentially optional because when we use vector, we usually use one because why? Because if you don't say the first one, the allocator is using the standard allocator template. That's another STL. So essentially the STL, they're calling each other. That's basically just the allocation mechanism. And under here is the implementation. You can see that this is a template concept everywhere. Just, just for you to understand the implementation of a class vector, it's, it's number one, it's quite tedious. Okay, this particular piece of code about class vector, probably a few hundred lines of code just by itself. Just look at, for example, you will see, let me, let me actually show you a little bit. You will see, a section which is a public. Well, that's just a variable with uh, lots of template over there. And then you have a bunch of things that's private. And then you have a bunch of things that's protected. And then you have a bunch of things that's actually public again. And I want to move a little bit down to tell you that how uh, this is actually a, a, a really, really nice implementation. It consider all this case and until the end, you see that there is a lot of uh, operator overloading for a vector. Um, and then assign, assign after assign, I think it's assign. I want to show you that's begin. So in the template, they have something called iterator, which is begin and end. This is a way when you actually write a loop with, with the template vector, instead of using i is equal to zero kind of thing, you use begin and end, try to actually identify. So this is kind of help you to, to uh, handle the loop based on vector a lot nicer. And about what the size of the array, yes, you have a size, must be somewhere here near this. They have a lots of begin and end, just to let you know. There are three or four different pair. I, I didn't bother to, okay, now it's a size. They have a max size and they have a resize. And then they have, where's the size that I'm looking for? And they have an empty, wait a minute, I missed the size. It must be somewhere like this. This is the one that you try to see how many elements, this one. So if you look at this is the member function, which is a public, it's actually take care of the vector. So in vector, you don't have to worry about how many elements that you have. Instead, you actually use this function called size for you to determine. And then in the size, how they, how they do that, they actually use two internal pointer, implementation pointer, try to subtract. And this subtraction is a little bit like offset but it's offset divided by the, the type of element they have. So that's why they, they have to use size type and then 
the input is that offset. And then based on that, they can calculate how many elements that you have in, in this. So, so it's very interesting of the code. And uh, 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 for ECF36B is really, really too short for us to go into each of the detail. But uh, the capability for you to, uh, you have that you should actually be able to start to trying to understand, trying to read. You're not going to understand the first time you read a code like uh, STL underscore um, um, vector dot H and the like. But the thing is that from reading this code, you actually will open uh, another area which you understand what, what you're missing. And uh, that that's actually a good uh, uh, learning experience for you to follow, okay, for the rest of your um, uh, programming career. Okay, um, just to let you know, programmer, we always learn new things. There's always new stuff coming out and we have to follow and then see what's what's actually in there. Okay, object-oriented programming itself hasn't changed that much. Uh, inheritance hasn't changed that much, to be honest with you. Um, but the um, the some of the implementation detail might change. I mean, for example, when I talk about memory layout, the memory layout that you were asked to do for homework assignment number five, that hasn't changed much since probably 30 years ago, okay? So that's that's what I want to tell you. Okay, that's number one. So I'm going to use the rest of the time trying to do um, the participation. So let me, let me actually tell you what, what I intend to, for you to learn from this process. Um, the, Important thing, I think, for my number one objective for giving you this uh, this particular um, this particular uh, um, uh, assignment. Let me see. Where's the link? I thought I put it somewhere. Yeah. Any every every time I try to look for something, I always want to blame someone. Okay. Anyway. Is here. <clears throat> All right, that's good. So the the first objective for me to actually assign this to you, even though this is uh, not not a lot of point, is actually fairly easy for you to accomplish to obtain the uh, participation credit. The number one is is that I want you to take a look. A, I will call it industrial strings C plus plus code, how it looks like. And uh, by the way, this piece of code is being has been heavily used. This thing, the the past maybe uh, six months, that a lot of people are using this code to do a lot of great thing in terms of the uh, machine learning and AI. And and the code is actually not that big is over here, uh, this one I just show you, this piece of code. Um, this code has, the original code only had about 800 lines. And what I did is because I want to change the code from using a different version of JSON library to the standard JSON library, which is, I, I will call it standard because that's the most popular, is JSON CPP, which is the one that you have been using. and the the other extra 500 lines of code because I have to duplicate some kind of code in order to accommodate different libraries. So that, that was the lesson number two. I want you to actually learn how do you see from one particular industry, industry quality code that you can actually quickly change it to the other kind of code, which become useful to integrate with other pieces of software. So those two are the most important thing. So by, by saying this, I basically invite you, not just invite you, but force you to actually read this code before the end of the quarter, okay? Especially this file. This file is called uh, um, um, openai.hpp. And, and the thing is what you're looking for, you're not really looking for saying that you understand the content you understand how how the uh, how 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 the uh, open AI is doing and how is uh, uh, Chat GPT is doing that that's not the purpose of ECF thirty six B by the way 
But the important thing is for you to actually feel comfortable, understand the syntax and semantics about the program from the programming language perspective. Okay, that, so that, that's what I want you to do. Okay, having said that, um, and also, for example, the other piece of code, which is you should start looking at, is both the client side, which is this piece of code. Uh, this piece of code is called ECF36B open client.cpp. You can see that this code is really small. It's only 76 lines of code. It work with the, the HPP code. And the other piece of code I want you to take a look is, sorry, I want to go back. I want to go to this place. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Uh, keep clicking the wrong program. The other one is um, OpenAI server.cpp. This, this piece of code is a little bit bigger. It's about 500 uh, line, but this piece of code is really um, a lot of duplication. You can see that there is a lot of duplication related to JSON checking. For example, I want to check. You can see there is a lot of checking code. For example, here I try to check whether uh, a, a, a JSON uh, file has certain field. You can see that there is a lot of checking code, a lot of exceptional handling code, just like what you did for your homework assignment number six. So there is a, a lot of such code, even though it's a 500 is, is, is a, um, you should be able to understand this three file uh, without any issue. But if you have any question, please let me know as soon as possible. Okay, having said that, I want you to do participate in a, uh, in a uh, participation credit. Let me actually show you, tell you a little bit about what, what, what's the participation. Uh, so you have some, it literally could be really simple, um, uh, but, but programming to get it to work, nothing is simple, I understand that. Um, so let me actually do one thing. I want to stop sharing. I want to get the server running because I, I have my server, uh, let me see. No, I don't want to do this one. CD. You can, you can still see me, uh, but not a remote student because I don't want my, my API key to be recorded. Okay, just that's why I kind of unshare my screen. Okay, one second, I have to go to, to get my key. I know I store my key somewhere. Okay, I want to copy my key over here. Okay, so I export the key. So now I'm going to run my uh, ng rock. I want to run my ng rock program. Okay. All right, now I can share my screen. <clears throat> All right, so uh, what I want you to do, let me tell you what's the simplest way thing you can do. And then you can have some fun on top of that. So I already put all the instruction in the, uh, in the uh, GitHub. So this is what you need to do. If you want to run the client, not the server. So this part is you want to run the server yourself, then you actually need to configure that. But if you want to run the client, you just basically follow this few steps. Let me just write it down, okay? 
So uh, one of you, num step number zero, download the whole folder, and, uh, unzip it, of course. And then what you need to do is you go to this file, ECF36B, open a OpenAI client I CPP and change the name of, of the name I put there. I probably put it like a fireball uh, there. You change to your team name and then basically uh, make clean and make, and then you can construct the, you can construct your own, uh, your own uh, uh, JSON. But if you don't want to construct, you can actually do this. If you take a look, I already have a bunch of contrary tests. So you can actually just grab any one of those. I have about 10, 11, 13 uh, tests, for example. Uh, let me run the server. I haven't started the server. That's why you cannot see it running. Oh, I have to run the server. Sorry. Hold on. Server. Okay, I run the server. You can try to get in now. Oh, somebody uh, Somebody actually sent something. Uh, okay, I want to explain to you. Somebody uh, unrecognized. Okay, I will explain to you what happened. But let me tell you that what, what could went wrong. Uh, first, I want to say ECF36B, OpenAI, client.cpp. Over here, please change the name. Okay, please change the uh, number one. Uh, where's the name? Okay, first you have to change the name here, okay? And the second things you should be worried about is take a look at the contrary, take a, any of the contrary JSON. There is a one, the first line is actually endpoint. The endpoint over here, it should be in the JSON, it should be completion or it should be checked. If over here is a prong one, prong two, then this should be completion. But, but you can see that this one I'm using the language model Da Vinci 003. But if you're using, look at, for example, 10. This one, you can see that in 10, you see the, the endpoint is chat. And when the endpoint is chat, you actually use message. I should say, if you have a message one, message two, then you should say chat. And then you can look at the message. The, the format is a little bit different from the prompt because the message is actually have the role of a user and content. Okay, so pick a template from the, the GitHub and then try to decide you want to use chat or you want to use completion. But when you actually run the program, 36B of client, when you run this program, you should always put contrary here. First word should be contrary because this is a remote procedure call. I'm actually do the contrary. That's the only endpoint in this place. It will get you registered. I will, I will check the value for you. And then I will just go, uh, for example, contrary test 12. Dot JSON. I would just send it over there. <clears throat> okay, somebody actually say, I, I saw a lot of uh, unrecognized team name. Team name unrecognized, so chain. Why is that? Let me actually debug, okay? to see why it's, it's not being recognized. It will take a while because there are so many uh, people are doing that, but uh, it should it eventually should get to you because um, the, the there was a lot of delay from the open AI. Let me actually go check, uncheck the, 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 the screen and then I can look for the, the log.
Okay, let me let me go to the log. You can see my log, and then I won't I won't actually. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this one, this one is the last one I received. This is from ECS 36B Ting SR. So this one is failed. Let me see why it failed. So this one is why it failed. Somebody's thing name is segmentation form. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I know you just want me to feel panic, right? But why I didn't actually handle it? Anybody got a success? I got success all the time. Why you guys cannot do it? Okay. I like a Jimmy Butler. Okay. Let me actually check. Yeah, my server is still running. And I'm recognized request argument endpoint. Okay, don't submit anything. Just stop submit anything. Let me actually check one thing. Um, let me tell you one thing. Uh, if you, it looks like there is some synchronization issue uh, when some of your response got interleaved with other response. Uh, but as long as you have your team name uh, included in the log, you will. I, I will give you credit. So let me actually do this before I actually fix this uh, issue. Uh, anybody want to check your team name? I just want to make sure that you're there. Okay, starting from here. How do you spell it? L. You know what? I'm actually going to just search for all the argumenting name. You guys tell me whether you have it, okay? That's, that's probably easier. Well, if I, okay, this ARG thing. Okay, the, the, the last one is uh, ECF36B thing SR. And I love cats, segmentation arrow. Eugene and Tony and Ting Web L, Primitive, Chipotle, Belorians, Bosca, Bowler, Neptune, Invincible, PM Crew, Stingrays, Risk by Lord. Okay, you have two Ting Mystic, Ting Mystic. Chipotle chicken again? No, no, this is this one's different Chipotle, right? We have a two Chipotle ting, right? Okay. Ting Potter Hall, Ting One, Ting Potter Hall, Leho, Shadow, CS Among Us, P PM Crew, 
SEQ and Yash, Neptune, Stingray, ACDC, Soul Chain. Shadow, the Columbian crew, Magpie TKO, Vink Vinculin. How do you pronounce this word? Ustach, Ustach Yanbing. Thank you. Chipotle Chicken, Chipotle Chicken, Metalogic, UC Davis Student Housing and Dining Services. That's just to let you know, that's where we're going to have our uh, uh, end of uh, uh, class uh, party and they're going to pay for that, all right? That team is going to pay for that, don't worry. Cows, cowboy, this must be mine, right? Fireball, cows, Evan Tyson, Sekfall, there's different different names, Sekfall, Mystic, Citrus, Water Hippies, ACDNA, Yosemite 2, PM Crew, Eugene, Potato, Potato, Chipotle Chicken. Well, we have a three Chipotle team, right? This Chipotle team is capital C, is that right? Who has a Chipotle Chicken capital C? Okay, who has Chipotle Chicken with lowercase c? And who has Chipotle as a team? Okay. I decide we change our party. We're going to Chipotle. The three team is going to pay for that. Okay. No, let me let me actually search for that. Chipotle. Chipotle. You see, one of the thing is just Chipotle. And one of the thing is a lowercase Chipotle chicken. And one of the thing is capital Chipotle. Okay. Okay, there is another one, Chipotle underscore chicken. Okay. <laughs> You guys working for Chipotle or something? We have 14 of Chipotle people. Okay, great. All right. Anybody? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, if you want to have your team, team name check, why don't you come over here? I will, I will just type it in. That's either and the rest of you. If you see your name there, you can go home. Happy weekend. You got success. Um, your success. Okay, good. What's your team name? I I can see this. S N O R. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, okay, okay. okay good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this. Yeah, uh, Thunderbolt. Capital. Thunder roll. Yeah, it's already registered. California, big bear. California, okay. California, space big. Yeah, I have it. Thanks. Can of beans. All lowercase, most basic. Can, no. Yeah, panel beans, okay. All right, Tanya, Tanya underscore Devin. Tanya, T A, sorry, sorry, A, T A N Y A. My phone. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> yes, perfect. All right, okay. Uh, group two two two, so G G R O U P two five. Two, two, two. Okay. Got it. Okay. It's so you S U I B I E N. S S U I U I B I E N. Yeah, I got Thank it. You. Thank you. If we sent it when like you opened the server like a couple minutes before class, will that count? Because it was open. Oh, I I actually turned it on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. So that counts? Can, can, uh, sure. Can you actually tell me what's your team name just in case? It's Liu Lin. L I U underscore. Yeah, Liu oh, Lin. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Uh, uh, do we have semicolon? Yes. Semicolon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
I didn't see it actually. Yeah. Oh, you okay. yeah, yeah, semicolon. Yeah. I got it. Is it like Oh, painting yeah. Z? yeah thank Good. you yeah so i'm getting this error again i forgot how to fix it um it should be minus let me let me let me go to your make file and this I would just say minus i slash usr slash sr uh, sorry usr include json cpp. That's that's try okay. Okay. Bingo. All right. It looks great. All right. Yeah. C o n c a t. Oh, uh, no, it's King Cat. Oh, King Cat. Okay. Yeah, uh, King Cat. Uh, thank you. King Moo. King Moo. Okay. King Moo. Yes, I got it. The Chunky Cheetos. If you fail, it's not. Um, you did read my name off, but is it okay if it wasn't successful? Yes. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's okay, fine. so it's fine that this was not exact. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, there is something, some problem. I, I, I see that when there are so many, it seems to me their response is being. Yeah, that's that's good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, eternal link here. Eternal. Okay. Yeah, eternal link. Uh, I must E T E R N A O. What did I do wrong? T E R N. Why I don't have that eternal? I submit during your office hours. No, it should be all the. Eternal, right? Yeah. Did uh, I spell -E Yeah. No, it just just oh, okay. this this part will be fine. Yeah. It should be able to find everything. Yeah, I couldn't find yours. Why don't you uh stay there? I'll I'll check with you after. Yeah. Oh, it's Nightingale and I just and I just. N I J G H N I G H G H yeah Nightingale okay I K U N I K U N U N yeah I could okay got it ballers B A I O E R S I only uh yeah I saw ballers yeah invincible I actually saw invincible already actually. Mm -hmm. Invins. Yeah, okay. invincible. Shadow hunters. Shadow hunters. Is so, there a space? Yeah. Yeah, shadow hunter. Yeah. yeah. CS that is. <laughs> is there? How do you run the program to like make it setting a response when I need it? Okay. Can you sit for those of you who cannot run the program? I will I'll get to you sit in the first row. Just, the command is to run it. It should be working. The command run to run the program is this ECF36B open fine and then put contrary and put one of the JSON file. Okay. Okay. Uh, L E H O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L E H yeah. Got it. C S what? Geeks. Geeks. Uh space? Yeah. Yes. You're welcome. Mac and cheese. Got it. 
Putin, you got it. Two guys, C, double C. Who? Guy. Double C. Who guy? Okay, got it. Uh, SEG4, SEG. I, I already saw that. Oh, so yeah, it's, SEG4. It's not capital. So. No, no, I, I know. I, oh, I, okay. I, I look at you. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. It's already there. I, I can show it to you. You can look at this. Oh, yeah. Thanks. SEG4, right? Thank you. Yeah. Snowball. No W. I, I saw yours. Snowball. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Snowball. Uh, PD110. PD. 110. PD1. 110. No? Oh, uh, I think it's like lowercase PD. It doesn't matter. PD, right? Yeah, 110. Oh, okay. You're right. Lowercase. Yeah, okay. PD110. Yeah. Gorillas. Gorillas. Yeah. Okay. Hi. 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 Yeah, I got it. Oh, you 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 got your uh, name already. This is already okay. Yeah. Give me some seconds. Sure. Ting, A V. Yeah, you're there already. Yes. Let's see if this helps. You're using homebrew, right? Yeah. Yeah, it works. Thank you. Just the size. Yeah. Yeah. Could we check if we got the Sure. What's your name? Yes. What? E C I C. B. Oh yeah. If you just do B, it's for Kelly. B E C. What? Uh, just B E E S. Like honey bees. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that looks like it. Yeah. Epic cool. Beast. Yeah. yeah you got Thank it. You. You're welcome. Okay. Yes. It's um, IDA space. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. King IDK Bro. Thank you. How about you? Hello. So, when I do the make, it says I keep getting this X front error. I think it just might be my laptop, but I'm not sure why I keep getting that error. Um, have you seen this area before? No. I I am not knowledge about this. Okay, so um, you know what? Uh, the time is up. If if you cannot submit, let's do it on Monday. Okay. Yeah, anybody want to check the team name? P I N K? Oh, yeah, W space W X I. Yeah. With, yeah. with yeah. Pink Whitney. Yeah. I, I will help you on Monday. Would that be okay? okay. Yeah, that, that is an error message I, I never seen before. All yes. Right. Thank you. Oh, I just changed my team and I, I, I'm now the, <laughs> the single member, so I don't know, should I change my team name or? Her? Yeah, use whatever name you have now. Okay. What's the name? It's I K U N. I K U N. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. It's already there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Anybody who has any issue? Evan? Yeah. yeah. So like I'm I'm get, I'm getting message I'm getting syntax errors, but I'm not supposed to recreate create a new file like this or No, the model cannot be whatever. The model need to be 
uh, the use one of the template. The model need to be, if it's a completion, it need to be text Da Vinci, look at the example. And then prone one, prone two, comma, common, match token. Yeah, this looks fine to me, actually. Okay, so I just need to change the model into Bunchbox? Yeah, change the model. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, anybody still running the program? Missed the first participation, so we didn't register our team. Is it cool? We just type in our own name in the team. But you have to register your team name first. Uh, you you have to register. You can actually submit. It looks like this, okay? Okay. And then we later I will register your team name. Okay, but sure. can you send me an email to uh to tell me your team name and with your student ID number? Okay. Okay. Sure. All right.